Hi, this is Christine. And I'm Mark. And this week we're going to show you how to introduce a live system to your game. This way when you lose all your health you will have extra chances to continue the game. Let's start by showing what the game will look like at the end of the tutorial. Okay, when the game starts I see in the bottom left how many extra chances I have if I lose a life. I'm going to take some damage and lose a life. My plane explodes but I continue with only two extra lives now instead of the three I had before. So we can unbolt the show game requirement. Now let's open the tutorial that we left off at. First we're going to show how to create the explosion in the game. Like everything else, we start by creating the sprite. Right click sprite, create sprite. Name it SPR underscore explosion. Load the explosion. It's called explosion1 underscore strip6. Why strip6? Strip6 means that there are six frames in the animation. It works like a flipbook where you have a new picture that changes to make the pictures look like they're moving. We've created the sprite, so we can unbold that. Now we create an object by right-clicking the object and choosing a new object. Name it obj underscore explosion. Make it look like the explosion, too. We want our explosion to play and then do something after it's done playing. So click Add Event, go to Other, and choose Animation End. Animation End means that all the frames we all the frames have played and the player has seen the whole explosion. So after the explosion plays, we want it off the screen. We can destroy itself by dragging the recycle bin from the main one tab. We can then unbolt that part from the checklist. We also want the player to lose a life when his plane explodes. Game Maker has a life system similar to the health system. It's a global variable that is built in. So go to the score tab and see the section called lives. All right, now drag the heart symbol in and set the lives to negative one. Remember to check relative so the Game Maker knows to subtract one life, not set the lives to negative one. Then we can unbolt the lose a life task from the checklist. Next, we don't want the explosion to happen too fast that the player doesn't know what happens. So we want the game to pause for a small amount of time so it's more clear that something happened. Go to the main 2 tab and drag the triple Z image. This makes the game sleep for a bit. Set the number of milliseconds to 500 so that the game will pause for half a second. Not too long and not too short. We can unbold that from the list. Also, when the explosion is done, we want the player to start back up with all his health. So go to the score tab and drag the set health icon in. Then set health to 100. Right. Lastly, we want the player to continue on with the game after losing a life. So we need to recreate the plane. Go to the main one tab, drag the light bulb icon to create an instance of the plane. Choose the object as obj underscore plane. Click the relative box so that the plane gets created where the explosion happened. So we can unbold the recreating plane part and creating explosion object. Okay, so we created a nice explosion, but we haven't told the game when to show this explosion. We want to show this, this explosion when the player's health is gone. So go to the lives controller object, then the no more health event. We can delete the displaying a message, and we don't want to restart the room anymore. Instead, we want to change the plane into an explosion object. In the main one tab, you see a blue circle pointing to a red circle. This is the change instance action. Drag it in. In the applies to section at the top, check the object button and choose the plane. Then, in the change into section, choose an explosion. Now that the plane changes into an explosion, the actions in obj underscore explosion happen. So we lose a life and watch the animation play automatically. And we can unbold the show explosion task. Like the health bar, we also need to draw the number of lives the player has left. First we need to create an image for what the lives look like. They'll look like the plane, but smaller. Create a new sprite. Name it SPR underscore lives image. Load the image of the small plane and click OK. We 
We can unbolt the Lives Images task now. Go to the Lives Controller object. In the Draw event, we want to draw the number of lives, too. Go to the Score tab, and we see an icon with three hearts. This is the Draw Lives action. Drag it in. We will use these numbers for drawing it. X is 16, and Y is View underscore Y View plus 410. These numbers put the lives at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, right above the health bar. For the image, choose the SPR underscore lives images, and click OK. So we can unbolt the draw on bottom of screen task. Now we pick how many lives we start with. Go to the create event, and you see that we already set our starting health to 100. Drag the set lives icon, and choose three. So now we can lose lives and we start with three, but what happens when we reach zero lives? Right now, nothing. We need to add an event for that. Similar to the No More Health event, there is a No More Lives event. Go to Add Event, Other, No More Lives. This is the event where we restart our game. Go to Main 2 and drag the green circular arrow icon to restart the game. That should be everything, so let's test the game and see if it works. See, I have three lives at the bottom. When I lose all my health, I see my plane explode. I now only have two lives, and if I had time to play the whole game, I would see that if I lost all my lives, I would have to restart the game. That's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to ask your teachers if you have any questions, and always save your work.